Natalie Robinson Cole was a progressive and motivated art educator in the 20th century, inspiring students of all ages in a wide variety of artistic media from visual art to dance. Cole was born in 1901 and has written two books, The Arts in the Classroom in 1940 and Children's Arts from Deep Down Inside in 1966. Cole has also produced many academic articles and has collaborated with journalists to spread her message and philosophy of the importance of art and creative expression in the child's life. Cole believed that art was a medium for self-expression, and that was clear in her classroom. Childhood is often an overwhelming stage in life because every discovery, injury, trauma, and thrill is amplified. Children are experiencing all of these realities for the first time, and that alone is emotionally straining. Cole was very empathetic and had a therapeutic approach to teaching. She knew the difficulties of childhood and approached her role as an educator and as an encouraging force in her students' lives. Every week for several years, Cole volunteered at an after-school dance program the free, exciting view of creativity Cold shared with her students was not limited to the world of visual art. She believed that it applied to all methods of creativity. The widely circulated art professor, Victor Lohenfeld, asked the question, is Cold the American version of Franz Sizek? They were both, in fact, progressive art educators with a passion and reputation in their field. However, upon further analysis, it became clear that the two were quite different. Sizek taught a highly elite, chosen group of students from a wealthy background in a private school, whereas Cole taught public school students in a low-income community. Although the two educators have similar theories to release the child through art, their environment formed a sharp contrast, making the classroom teaching skills vastly different. The growth process is more important than the result of the picture in Cole's eyes. She believes although children bear the pressure of life, they can also gain freedom through art education and find true spirit and self-expression.